Hi, I'm Trish from Fold Factory, and today I'm sharing with you the stepped accordion fold. Now, if you haven't used specialty formats uh, before, or at least not very often, um, the stepped accordion is a great kind of first foot into specialty formats. It's organized, it's linear. Um, I think you're gonna love it. I have a couple of different ones to show you, um, but the first thing I wanna talk about is what it is that makes it special. The stepped accordion is really an accordion fold. It's got that zigzag characteristic of an accordion, right? That back and forth zigzag, but the magic is in the placement of the scores. So the scores are placed in kind of a tapering configuration so that you get a stepped effect on the edge. Now this is a flush version. This is kind of a classic stepped accordion. It has a flush edge and a stepped edge on the other side. There are actually many variations of stepped accordions. Um, today, let's just start simple. We're going to start with this kind of classic version um, and talk about it. And as I said, it, it's, it's not only simple, but it's also linear. So what, what I really like with this, I'm going to step back so you can see, it's really just a big rectangle. That's all this format is. And so with regard to layout, you're not dealing with kind of complex complex die cuts, anything like that. This is truly score placement, and then you just really have to think about the layout itself. So this version, um, this first one design that I want to share with you is from Academy of the Oaks. And this is a, a, a private high school, and you can see here that they've used the steps to organize the content. That's one of the greatest strengths of a stepped accordion is that ability to kind of chunk out your content and make it really easy to navigate. So they've got, you know, forward thinking, international, radical and relevant. I also like that they've got this kind of crossover illustration that runs across the, the four steps. Um, that's really nice too. And they've, are, they've also used kind of a color blocking to separate the steps as well. I've seen lots of variations on this. You can just wrap imagery if you want. You don't have to use um, the steps as actual tabs for information. I've seen it done with imagery that wraps the edges and just creates kind of a visual texture. There are so many neat ways uh, to use this format. So um, I just really like the way that they kept this clean and simple. Uh, it's a great way to uh, quote unquote step in to a specialty format. So this next one I wanna share is black button distilling. And this one, also uses, they actually use the steps as well for um, kind of separating the content. And, but what I like about this one is this one is, you know, different, uh, different bottles of uh, liquor. So you've got citrus forward gin, you've got their four grain straight bourbon, and you've got the bespoke bourbon cream. And I love how the imagery um, and the color breaks are on the folds. I like that you've got the just, you know, simple, bold image on the one side. They kind of created a system where you've got a bold image on the left, informational text on the right, um, and then the back is just all bright, bold imagery, reviews, um, you know, that kind of uh, social proof and reviews and things like that on the back. Um, I just really, really like how organized it is, and I love the use of imagery and image breaks and color breaks on the folds. So really nice ways to you know use this uh use this format creatively so think about it this is a wonderful format um for lots of different things i can see it for you know higher ed uh, finance pharmaceuticals informational um types of brochures for products you name it uh, it has a lot of versatility also really nice by the way i've seen it done for like self promos for photographers. Um, I've seen it for wedding invitations where there's the different categories, you know, for the, you know, the, the, the rehearsal and then there's the event itself and then the reception and I've seen the, you know, the travel information and other things like that done in a stepped accordion format. It, it's amazing what you can do with the stepped accordion. So think about it. Um, I challenge you to use one on your next project. All right, thanks, I'll see you next time.